back to the channel. Today we are going to be in the Bills playbook, looking at single back wing, and this is going to be a motion scheme that I feel like you don't see a lot online and stuff like that. Uh, that people are motioning with a with a purpose and things like that. Uh, we got no run plays, but I mean, if you that I'm going to dive into. But I mean, usually with the blunt dive, you would still be able to motion someone. Um, and I believe that's actually the only run that you're going to be able to motion someone because a lot uh, the rest of these runs are RPOs. So you're not going to be able to motion your outside receiver um, across the formation like we're going to here. But the first play we're going to go into, so we have four pass plays. First play we're going to get into is Y stick. We will, of course, match with just nickel. And you can see how this is set up here. I really like the Knox route, um, and then Sweeney kind of pulls the guys um, out to the flat. But that Knox route is really what you're looking for. You're going to see a lot of man and things like that. Um, so that's going to be a great man beating route. And you see here, we're gonna. This is gonna look the exact same for all these plays. Gabe, we're gonna be motioning Gabe Davis across uh, across the screen here, and you can see he kind of has this little bit of an inside release vertical here. And we're basically gonna be using him as a clear out for Diggs to come underneath on the uh, left side of the field. And then, like I said, Knox is gonna be like your main your main hot read if you if you see a blitz or you see man to man, um, you see cover zero, anything like that. It's gonna torch that. Pretty tough to stop here. And here we do get man, but you do have the slant underneath, and you're kind of using I mean, more of a clear out for Gabe against zone, but you do get a quick. Um, I, mean, I guess we can just go into the replay real quick. Um, if I can get to Gabe here, you can kind of see it does pull Sauce off a little bit. Um, I know they're in man, but it does back him up. Um, maybe if, if, if Gabe wasn't there, um, using the street kind of a clear out, would have been able to play the ball on Diggs there. So again, motion across the field. Um, here it looks like maybe like some sort of cover two, some iteration of cover two here. So maybe you should try to hit Gabe down the seam here, or if you can be able to hold on to that ball. And if not, I mean, you can always just check the ball down to one of these tight ends. Probably should have held on to another, another split second, then it would dump it down to Knox. But this play gives you a good combination of, and here, right, we actually might be able to use Gabe as a, uh, as a clear out, actually. Uh, uh, cornerbacks follow a little pretty good indication of man uh, in, in the game, at least here. So we'll get to show you here that Knox route. And I mean, it's, it's tough for the linebackers to keep up. Because uh, linebackers just don't do anything in covers. They kind of just let them run an out route and break it off against man. And it's also a very hard route for uh, users to cover. Because, I mean, typically you don't want to just be covering an option route off a tight end if you're a user. You're looking to cover over the middle of the field. Things like that. So, uh, that is why stick. Pretty simple. Not really making any adjustments to this play. Just uh, motioning Gabe across. Motioning your outside receiver across. And... Uh, and yeah, trying to trying to clear out some lanes for these throws here. Next one is Z spot here. Again, we're just going to streak Gabe ourselves. We're going to streak our outside receiver, Gabe Davis. And what we're going to be doing here is running basically an iteration of smash on the right side of the field with our tight ends. And then we're going to be running dagger to the backside with uh, Diggs and Davis. So we'll kind of show you what that looks like here. We're going to look like getting it man. And we do. So kind of throw that down, come back to the ball with Knox. Pretty easy completion. And this one is very tough for users to guard because obviously we have things going on on different sides of the field. Um... Uh, if I can get to the receiver here. Uh, obviously, they're not going to be, going to be able to cover uh, Diggs running the dig route underneath of Gabe Davis here. And they're not going to be able to cover the other side of the field with um, with your tight ends going and breaking out to the right side of the field. They can't cover all that. It's just, it's just not possible. So it's going to force them to adjust. You're going to have to be playing a somewhat decent player for them to adjust. And that's exactly what you want to do. You want to make them play your game, make them adjust to you. So we're going to run this again here. I mean, ah, damn sauce, bruh. Okay. Um, you don't want to do that. Don't don't throw a pick. But I'm trying to force these ball to these tight ends here. Um, just get Gabe across the field again here. And again, this well here we got a man following him here, so we might get man coverage. So maybe these corner routes and things like that are are going to get open here. And probably should have just dumped it down. But there you can see the corner route open up. Um, kind of pulls the defender down into the flat a little bit with that tight end Tommy Sweetie in the flat. And see if I can just work this work this dagger concept one time on the left side of the field. Again, I mean, here they shift to a cover two. Try to get it behind these linebackers to, to digs here. Try to hold on to it. And I mean, there you kind of, it kind of worked, kind of worked. Um, if you hit that a lot, that's that's probably the route the user is going to look to take away, unless they just have no idea in the world how to stop corner routes. Then maybe they try to user that and take that away. But very tough to work both sides of the field um, if you're a user without having really good adjustments. Next one is tight in the tack. I mean, honestly, you can just leave this. You can leave it stock here. But a lot of the times, I do put Gabe or my whoever my outside receiver is on a slant, um, just kind of create a crossing concepts and make it a little bit tougher for the user to to just pick one guy. And of course, I mean, your tight end is going to get in behind those zones, get in behind those hook zones, unless they're playing in zone drops and things like that. But most people, I feel like, don't play hook zone, hook zone drops. So yeah, I mean, we're dragging him. And another little pro tip with this with this scheme: if you snap your receiver in motion. Um, he kind of takes a little bit longer to get across the field, so if that's not something you're looking to do, you want him to get a, a hit in a spot and go or wherever he's going, you definitely want to let him get set before you before you snap the ball. So there you kind of saw he sort of stuttered 
a little bit out of the gate here as opposed to if we let him get set and then snap the ball he kind of just runs his route i mean still pretty slow because he's gabe but um that's just what gabe does a little bit slow but um yeah kind of gets set and gets into his route a little bit quicker so tight end attack pretty simple i feel like everybody's ran tight end attack um at least at one point or another and of course with this i mean you're going to be getting a face catching chance uh, i call it face catching i don't know what the hell you guys call it now we used to call it face catching back in the day these aggro catches uh down the field of course Diggs really isn't like the uh the biggest guy there you get a little bit of a hole shot drops in anyway but you still get that that face catching chance on the outside. Uh, I'm sure you have these bigger body guys on your mutt team, and 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 things like that now. So that's still great. And of course, with all these other routes, I mean, you can throw streaks and throw and throw aggros down the field anytime you want to with this. Um, like you're going to try to try to force to force to our big guy, well, big guy digs, I guess, uh, cousin to come down with it. But you get the idea um, on any of these. I mean, if you just want to throw, I mean, your outside receiver on a, on a, on a go on a go route and just try to attack down the field. I mean, you can really do that with any of these plays here. And because you have the two tight ends, I mean, it gives you that short game on the right side of the field. Like with Y stick here, let's kind of just go back to that real quick. Um, maybe something with Y stick, you'd run like Gabe on a slant, something like that on the backside, throw, throw your bigger receiver on the outside on a, on a go and just try to get that, try to get that, you know, well, catch the damn ball, but you get the idea. You can do that with any of these plays. Um, and that's a lot of because you have the two tight ends on the field. So, and I really like to throw this much out of this because, I mean, a lot of the times whenever you bring two tight ends on the field, you go to these heavier sets, people are assuming you're going to run the ball. But that's, I mean, we want to be able to throw the ball at this. So, so here we're going to switch to drive here. This is our last play. And what I'd like to do here is just block the running back up. And then again, I put Gabe, um, or my outside receiver, on a drag. We're going to bring him across the formation here. And you can see, I mean, we're basically running, um, we're basically running mesh underneath of a, of Knox going a little bit deeper on an in route, and then you have the out route to uh, Diggs, which sometimes, I mean, depending on the coverage, is just out yards. Out, out routes are just free yards sometimes, depending on the coverage. So here, I mean, we'll kind of see, and I mean, that's free yards. That's free yards out there. Um, the guy, the corner out there, is in a deep zone. No purple gets over there. No zone gets over there. It's free yards. So again, we'll block up our running back. Uh, get Gabe across the formation here. Here it might be look like a man-to-man -man coverage here. So maybe against this where I see these two high safeties up top and I see uh, middle of the field open. Uh, maybe instead of running the maybe instead of running the in route across the middle of the field with my with my, my big tight end, uh, maybe I streak him, try to stretch that middle of the field and and really try to make really try to make the user work. I don't know what the hell happened there, but really make that user work. Um, not just not just do the same things every single time. And again, maybe if you don't, I mean, you can always switch it up in these schemes. Maybe if you don't want to do this, um, you don't want to just drag and just run mesh every time underneath, throw Gabe on a streak, uh, throw your outside receiver on a streak, make him stretch that seam, and, and who knows? I mean, this might even get you more free yards here. They're in like, I'm not even sure what the hell they were in there. But there we waited on the drag, comes across the field. Um, drags are really tough to stop with the computer, unless unless you have like a hard, a hard flat out there. Um, playing a lot of the times it can, it can get open. But, I mean, really, I like to just run, literally, basically mesh out of this. Let's block, block, block uh, Singletary here. And, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. All these plays are super simple. Um, and, you're, and you're motioning stuff. You're, you're motioning guys across the, across the formation. You really don't see that. I mean, you see you guys motion, of course, in, in the game. But a lot of times, it's not with a purpose. It's just uh, motioning a guy for the sake of motioning a guy. Here, we're doing it with a purpose. We're trying to isolate these two tight ends, isolate our receivers, and try to put them in good positions to throw the ball out of a more of a heavier set with two tight ends on the field. But that is pretty much the end of this scheme here. Single back wing out of the Bills playbook, of course. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was the first video back on, on the game in, in a minute here. So so yeah, it's exciting to, to do that again. And yeah, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, uh, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. You know what to do. You've probably been on the YouTubes before, I would assume. And yeah, have a good one.